welcome back <coughs> welcome back in this video I am going to <coughs> uh, last video was about Skype so I'm gonna see there was like option move to Skype or go to team sorry um, like go to team something like that so I want to go and see what um, I clicked on it and then it if you remember like it says it was giving me an option to download the desktop app for teams so I want to see and explore what the teams app for the desktop is what it looks like and is it like a messenger or it's uh, just an app um, <clears throat> like uh, word or outlook so on the phone it's kind of like uh, Skype I wish I could show you but uh, <laughs> the phone my phone is the one that I make external videos uh, when I'm not screen capturing so I have to figure what a way out uh, possibly get another phone <coughs> and go from there so let's go to uh, let's open the Aslan account <clears throat> so let's go to portal teams right there should I click directly on teams uh, probably not wasn't a good idea because that's the admin center I want to run the Skype for business it's kind of for business there so once you like uh, install it it takes priority over the regular Skype and I think it's based on which user is uh, signed in so I did click on it right sky okay now it's sky for business is <laughs> that's funny it's trying it's loading and not loading at the same time get the windows app so I don't remember where I clicked uh, last night on my host machine and over here let's see if on the host machine loads Skype for business <clears throat> yes go to start Skype for business so in the <clears throat> virtual machine Skype for business um, is either oh I'm starting <clears throat> finally Aslan is online okay let's go here Skype <clears throat> it's extremely uh, what I did is I signed out uh, last night from the Skype and then turned off the PC completely available see still offline <clears throat> sign out <clears throat> as busy still offline I am gonna sign out and leave it signed out all right so Microsoft really pushing go to teams I clicked on it and it open the edge just like this uh, it's uh, so on go to ah okay general welcome to the teams bring your team together chat one on one and with groups exactly like um, uh, exactly like um, uh, Skype let me quickly look at my t uh, phone screen there was a company I don't remember but I had a notification this morning on my phone that that company is bringing a device that should be in the Google home something so, 
like uh, that th that's a screen and the that company is bringing Microsoft uh, uh, teams built into it so basically the the it's like a gadget or TV monitor or screen whatever you want to call it so uh, just another tidbit about how hard um, Microsoft is pushing teams <coughs> like uh, I it's kind of look like uh, about the size of um, <clears throat> um, seven inch tablet but you know, I could be wrong and you know maybe they are bringing bigger um, uh, screens so oh, what was that files notes apps and more all in one place um, do you remember Google waves um, if you remember Google uh, Google tried so hard uh, on such a networking plate they bought Orchard totally messed it up then do the, the Google Plus thing failed then they tried competing with the or um, Twitter then they brought waves and waves were really uh, was exciting it was uh, you know you could you could collaborate on a on a single post so but then they shut uh, that one off too so this kind of reminds me of that except it's part of a package and you have to pay for it and you know it's for teams while waves was open to public so basically one failed idea is never fail it re reappears somewhere else you're ready all right that was the quick path through we can choose to watch video or we can screen the note turn on desktop notification i really do not like desktop notification like you're doing something and it pops up and all your concentration concentration uh, goes out the window so i'm gonna just turn it off all right so this is the team's interface who is logged in Aslan Tahir I think Aslan um, <clears throat> let's uh, poke around I normally do it <laughs> beforehand um, but uh, today I felt like I'm gonna do it uh, on the camera so if I forget something later on I can come and watch this video because I poke around I see so much and you know I make mental notes and when I'm making the actual video I forget with I saw that option so uh, this one is the web interface I'm not sure if it's the uh, this one get the windows app we're gonna click on this one later on let's play with this one uh, the web interface you see the address over here so just like uh, um, on any I am you can put yourself what and this is for example if I'm busy I you see it's red and if I click reset status I, I'm go back to available set status message uh, my supervisor or you know yeah he he does that or what is it does is if he is having one-on-one -on -one coaching session like um, he, he we have to go and see him for one hour and we are just sitting there talking about uh, uh, policy procedures and the calls how we handle it how we could have done it better or you know all that so what he does is he's put, put coaching in there show when people message me okay and done so today on this is not in uh, over there but basically if some like uh, okay so it's not saying coaching here I thought that it will say it's just saying an extra message and it's gonna show um, <coughs> on his uh, uh, to, uh, show in the conversation history like if it's somebody message him it can um, against his name it will be like or in on the very top in the conversation window 
it will say something like that what I really should is I should fire up another um, machine and send and receive messages uh, to show you better this one let's do that let's go to pro and connect to that one as well start <coughs> continue so Microsoft team is a uh, just about a month or two ago they really pushed it hard and you know um, so it was a big news so everybody knew that uh, they have to start learning this thing it has been excuse <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so it has been around for a while. Yeah, Bill has the account. So let's log Bill in. If I have the Bill's correct password, and that is not the case, I think I changed the password for Bill. That is not good. This password. Come on, I think this is, I think I have the correct password, it's just the other issue that we discussed back in another video, while well, enhanced mode, you cannot log into Active Directory, and yes, that was the case. So, remember this video, yeah, I made a video especially for this, but uh, if, you want, if it's enhanced mode, uh, local, um, <coughs> uh, our uh, local virtual machines, they cannot connect to Active Directory for some reason they may have fixed it by now because uh, on this one i can fi uh, sign in just fine <coughs> so he's there let's sign him in as well go to portal.office.com So hopefully he has um, <clears throat> come on no thanks okay build at I think this was the account that I changed password but no so everything all is well so far yeah oh click never so it's their way of welcoming you in the set the time zone yes let's go <coughs> eastern time right there save <coughs> So this I just did it's Eastern time oh not on the computer all right so it's, it's welcome feature for the outlook if you want to see quickly see them and let's exit out of them and we were going to the portal it keeps dragging us here and there so you see in uh, if it's like a basic session then you cannot um, make the virtual machine uh, as big as like a, you know I could customize the screen size so teams right there <clears throat> over here it says Ali and 13 others join the team it means that all the other users that even though we did not uh, assign them the office license they are, are they are allowed or you know authorized to use the teams so it's saying get the windows app we are saying use the web app instead i'm gonna use the web app for now because i want to install the app here <coughs> so let's see there what's going on again it's just that uh, whatever we discussed earlier says Ali and 13 other join add more people or can we see the, our users 
this is Ali. I can Ali is available on Ali's end uh, chart. If I click on charter, oh, it's just the general files wiki. Start and tap at mention. So we're gonna say Bill, and Bill is right there, right? So now this message is only for Bill. Hey, welcome. And you see, 3 p.m. It was sent, and uh, he received it. Let's do it side by side. Let me go and resize my window. <clears throat> oh, cool! So it kind of went away. So when I hover over it, it gives me all the options. That's cool. No, very nice. Very well done. So let's uh, for to reply Aslan. Oh, sorry, Ali. I have to click here. But it says start a new conversation. So what happens if I send? If I message hi, new here. I believe. It's gonna be sent to everybody in the team but not very professional message but I'm gonna go with that hit enter it has been sent and you see the new here so if I reply to him here So you you kind of see reply to you if I fire up another one let me see if on my phone um, what's going on over there I call him Ali but that's Aslan so am I receiving these on the phone teams if I log in and I don't know <clears throat> so on the team it's not there like this message Oh, I'm logged in as Aslan. So, because I'm getting the messages on the web app, they are not being pushed to me on my chat sessions. <clears throat> I'm gonna exit out of here. Let's see how to sign out. Oh, my status message on the phone is saying coaching. So it gets updated. Let's see what what do we have here. It should be under settings. Oh, really? Yeah, I think it's it's in settings all the way down to sign on. Sign up for free. So I'm gonna sign in with. Okay, it looks like you can sign in with your Outlook account as well. I'm gonna go with the Aslan, just the Aslan. Uh, <clears throat> okay, next, 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 get it. So I still did not get the messages from everybody else. So if I start a chat. I have to enter your name or email okay in the web app I have I have to mention somebody without that no matches found and I cannot start a new chat so for the teams um, journal see all teams I think I can send a ch uh, yeah it's a little bit advanced on the team side so you see this is what web app they go back and forth here and if it's like Bill Clinton hi new here so it will show up to everybody in the team in general it's not it did not show up in uh, on the phone in general so when I click on charter and general there's nothing oh I'm sorry I apologize okay so I should make uh, definitely get new camera and show you the what's going on on the phone side so basically you have to click on general and then you see all the uh, what's going on 
inside of that room or meeting or chat or whatever so it's not being they're not being pushed out I'm gonna try one more time <clears throat> let's get the reply yeah 18 so far nothing on the phone but as on the web app it gives you the notification all right so stay in the note turn on desktop notification on this computer I can because I'm gonna hardly use this <clears throat> so let's see what's what else is there add more people who can I add start typing a name or group email enable security group so this one is only a member to charter and since it's charter is the name of my thing here uh, the not related to the original charter so it's saying that distribution list email enable security group or a name so it should be we can assume that it's everybody who is already part of my organization uh, the local one that i created create more channel let's see what it is channel name sport description id sport group privacy is the option for privacy is standard that it's accessible to everybody who's on the team private only to specific group of people within the team if we go with this one i'm pretty sure that you have to select them i'm gonna go for this purpose standard <clears throat> adding the channel so now i have a support group as well in charter within charter that was the general thing and organization wide team <clears throat> Uh, general was like anybody could send messages uh, in charter I have you see a general group and then the support group so this is how you make teams or whatever and it's done the, you can get the conversation started you can give them a website like your website tiny bit, bit. add the URL Oops, tab name website I need org let's see what happens can save it because it's not a valid HTTP HTTPS www.ie.org what else you want from me <laughs> okay Now, oh, okay, right there, save. It should be in there. So this one is like website added. It's it's inaccessible, so I know what's going on over here. But in post, it's there. And basically, this user added the website. You can add a OneNote, you can add a planner thing, or you can add a tab. So white website add and what are the tabs that you can add oh okay from everything <clears throat> and that is wow look at that hmm great <laughs> that, that's uh, a lot all right so this is the like what you can do in the group I think so these three buttons give you more like channel notification manage channel get email address link added the channel <coughs> let's cancel it what is the get email address is it the post by email oh yes <clears throat> so if you send an email to this address 
you're gonna that uh, the body of the email will be published here it's exactly like a YouTube had an option like that that you can you know actually email a video but of course from phone you and you are emailing a video that's gonna be very either very small video or very bad resolution video so anyone can send emails or blah 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 only email sent from this domain or member of this team get link to channel so you get a special link that you can add and you know they don't have to actually go through the process of logging into team first then to navigate through they can just click on the link and they are there connectors connect for sport channel in charter term this is something nice survey quizzes and polls and you get there there's a like your user or team members do that jira cloud jira is like a, a ticketing system twitter yammer you can add all of that so these are the connection i believe for twitter i send or receive messages called twitter so i think you can send a post from team to twitter uh, let's see what it oh, okay so it's the other way around so basically you have a vendor from Microsoft or you have a vendor Dell or you have a vendor uh, Intel or any other and you know it could be a service provider and other third party you follow them on twitter and they send out regular tweets and your team works closely with that wonder you want whatever up they update on their twitter to be sent to your team so they don't actually have to keep an eye or they don't have to add them this is the way to add them so this is about the connector manage is under configured like whatever you have already configured they will show up here my account connected accounts so this is basically what's your accounts are and this is Ali all analytics and they, these are the based on the and uh, uh, the category that the connectors are good stuff so far loving it so how do we exit out of it your teams so this is my teams teams Click on Teams, Charter, New Teams, General. Let's go back to General. Okay, so General is the your main page in the team, I believe. We did the Create More channel, open the FAQ. So if uh, it should be from Microsoft, I believe. The Help Center, yes. So if you have a question, you can try finding your answer for example post hit enter and save a post post a message cross post create and format a post mark a message red or unread so training training is like if you want to know everything more in depth that we cannot uh, do it in oh they have some videos That's cool stuff. I'm gonna actually go through with this. All this I should. Yes. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly go through with them. Not right now. Um, so I'm gonna watch all of them. It's a good thing that you have the uh, teams training right in there that you can do. So definitely I should save this link. <clears throat> All right. 
so it's there are all videos you see that like about two minutes each or less than that so few videos you can you know watch them learn how things done and you know it's like uh, hearing it from the horse mouth right <laughs> so you're learning it from, at the source so that's good it's in their help in and training uh, tab so what else we got there no don't do that so help is right there if you click on help it's training right there now again go back to teams or open the FAQ is they help as well next one is calendar calendar should be exactly the same as in we saw earlier I'm gonna actually make my calendar for one day here January 2020 30th so today's fourth fourth is not showing up here let's make Monday 8 a.m. what's the title running late <laughs> so you know already you will be running late yeah it's monday okay um team chat location uh, boardroom 302 and we can schedule it and this is done close at 12 we can do the uh, lunch with client location <laughs> cafeteria and you're like oh you're you're gonna <laughs> give them lunch in your own cafeteria so PC oh, favorite hotel let's go there um, and type lunch with Mr. Z Ang. No, I, I type in Z Ang because um, yesterday I had a call. He gave me the last name Z Ang. Was Z Ang or Z Ang? He's like they have a different pronunciation. So in the end, he told me his Chinese name and then said, the English name is Tony. This is my address and my internet is not working. I like that, you know, um, uh, because uh, he, uh, he had to get his actual name on the account so I know uh, what my scope of support is because if it's not the uh, account holder then our support is limited to just troubleshooting we cannot make any changes so I love that customer so lunch with mr. Tony Stark schedule all right so schedule the reason I'm doing this is I want to show if the team is in your calendar as well or not like are they like is this calendar is different than we did the other one sharing calendar and all that so to check that let's oh no I don't want to mess with them let's go to Outlook and see if it's showing up there If you remember from the calendar video you have to click on this icon right here <coughs> team chat with okay right there team chat initialization boardroom 302 and 12 lunch very good job oh it's gonna be raining that day love the weather update loved it so yeah this is the calendar and there is a new meeting meet now start a private meeting what will happen you have to have a video I think and who is AT join now audio off all that click it but I'm what I'm just meeting with myself organize I'm the organizer and I can add let's add Bill Mr. Bill Clinton favorite president and he got the and it could, could not connect the call 
100% that is because I'm running the virtual machines and if you see there's no audio because I'm in the basic session and it's not enhanced session you see in an enhanced session you have access to the uh, audio video of your host machine but even if I give him the basic session it will be I think it will be a collision because both of them are using uh, host machines audio video uh, right so <clears throat> This is the what I should do is I should do like cross platform on two different computers. I have a laptop here, I can try that on as well as my cell phone. Let's uh, go cancel that. The sound is exactly the same Skype. That's uh, <laughs> a bummer. Please come up with a new sky, uh, sound, or maybe down the road they may change it. All right, what's the other me? Uh, it was. In the calendar right new meeting new meeting should be like date time location title mm. test meeting drive location boardroom 501 yeah find any building because i did not add it so basically this one is uh the reason it's saying i could not find any building uh this is the i haven't covered the uh, resource in inbox that's uh, like you put uh, all the rooms or buildings or you know conference rooms um as a resource and you assign them an email email inbox so once you do this uh, like put their name it get they get selected and once you schedule it they send an automatic email to that mailbox and back you get uh, or that room gets booked for you for that time that is start 3 30 to 4 it on that uh, calendar it will show that this room is booked for this person and if somebody else tries to book the same at the same time they get the error hey it has already been booked for that time frame so it happens to us when we go to upstairs by our boardroom. Uh, if the uh, previous meeting is still going on, we just uh, show them our face and they know that it's time to wrap up. So it's January 4, no, I want to change it. So I click on here and I want on the Tuesday. And I do not like 30 minutes, so it has to be at least a one hour. And there is no repetition, it's gonna be for the repeat yeah we can do that we can do every uh, like our meeting is every week so we can do the um, thing repeat every day no every Tuesday so now every Tuesday this this room is booked for us uh, for between three to four and the title is this one so I don't want to use this title for if I'm booking it every day because it's not a test. So you will use a title something like a, a team meeting, team meeting supervisor X Y Z, right? Team meeting sales group, team meeting IT group. So you get the idea. You can type the detail team meeting for supervisor X Y Z and you schedule it so if I go to I can cancel it if I want but I'm the organizer here and I can edit it get the uh, previous screen back like this exactly the same way I can cancel it make changes I, I can cancel meeting at all of all I can make changes and update it or I can close it keep everything the same now it should show up here on Tuesday but do you think if it will be updated on my calendar and on my calendar should it be saying just January 7th or every Tuesday throughout 2020 let's find out 14 3 3 and you see it's saying test that's why I didn't want to put test or I told you so what happens if I go to July it's there 
so throughout the year now Tuesday is booked for me between that time so if it falls on a day that is a holiday you don't have any team meeting because the center or organization or that business location is closed let's get back to thing so calendar is pretty much done it's a work week thing that you have a view like day and you get uh, get it by hours 8 9 10 11 12 we were in the week view work week and then the week including the weekends Friday Saturday you get the idea right so next one is calls calls is at speed dial like a phone a new group and you have the contacts here and you can add a contact you it's a history of who did you call and your voicemails if people have left your message so let's go to the speed dial and add speed type name or oh, do we have bill here yes so i i don't have bill's uh, uh, phone number i wish i had right okay so when i'm adding bill this is not going to ring his phone this is going to ring his team thing uh, like we saw over here the, he obviously they have to enable the on the like controls on the computer or it will ring their phone if they have added it so let's add it bill bill he's away i can add the phone number as well somebody right so it will call their phone <clears throat> i think you have to you might have to get the either the audio or, or like plan minutes something because i skype had uh, minutes skype minutes and you have to buy that try type a contact group name I had an IT group sport oh you can create it create a new group and then your contacts will be like for example you have four different teams right one is working on a single project the other one is seeing uh, different one third one is a different one fourth is a different one but you are you are or you are managing one of them or all of them uh, with others and with the help of other moderators or supervisors like your manager just uh, so what happens is that you want to keep them separate so you know which team they are in if you have to contact them you can click on that group and the message or call gets to all of them it's easier for me bringing them in team meetings as well uh, but the the other thing is that uh, they are s like uh, separated so you ha it's a little bit neater so I'm not adding I can actually let's create a group yeah Jira <laughs> so basically they are uh, we at our work we have uh, two ticking system one is Jira Jira is for all uh, the <clears throat> what's wrong with the products and open ticking over there the help desk now uh, no service now service now is for what the users have the problem not the external user the user in the organization somebody's monitor is not working or their login they cannot log in or their mouse stop working so you get the picture so in jira we can add somebody add speed dial or you know what is you right there add a contact so i'm gonna add ali here right Ali the supervisor add and I'm gonna add since everybody has access to Ali can we add Trump yes we can let's add Trump right uh, we cannot add a buddy to the group okay nope he has to go and sign up for the teams first like log into it and then so that's a good thing to know next it was very easy right um, the calls next is files files what is it? 
contacts, history, and voicemail. We saw that. Files. Files is recent that you know they were sent recently. The other one is like what files you have on OneDrive, Aslan's OneDrive, or you know Microsoft Teams. The file that belongs to the team, like they were sent into the Teams. So Cloud Storage OneDrive. I'm not sure. Can you access uh, everybody's? Uh, oh no, only it's Aslan. So you see, I made that uh, OneNote file back there. So you know Aslan from his OneDrive, he can share it if it's in OneDrive. So it's a quick way. But the team cannot access each other's files in OneDrive uh, like that. They can access their own and then you know choose to add them. So teams is good let's get back to once I clicked on teams what are what were the options I just uh, add more more tower very easy you can manage add channel and get like the team what was the channel uh, yeah channel was when we made this fourth thing all right so chats <laughs> these are all of our chat you see Bill Clinton I Hamid Aslan oh okay so these are these are the one remember um, you can see I sent in send them on 1st of January through my phone so they all show up here so you don't get any notification but that they are still in there and it says not available or you know not seen probably if I click on it now it's there so chats is this one contacts I should and this one is just a activity reg your feed of what you did in the teams let's see what is the in the contacts so these are all the contacts that you created wherever uh, it doesn't matter you created them in the call section or they were added in the teams this is again file uh, this is Alice Alice the files in the chat if he had sent any file or shared any file in this chat organization scan by name or search by name uh, for example Obama is right there organization view does not exist for this um, user because it's probably because they are not the ad people a bit probably because they are not uh, the team's admin and I am now uh, talking to Ali and Barack Barack Obama in the same chat window so that's how you add more people so this you see three people Ali Bar Obama and myself all right so this was the overview of teams uh, it was just a trial and error video and you know an introduction um, <coughs> if this video um, there are something else down here apps personal apps bots all that so you can add your team uh, here I think it's exactly the same that we saw earlier Jira server perhaps you see it's a project management thing to to meter right there like you can add the apps from here and this is the help section we saw earlier and this is download desktop app I am going to do that run team windows downloaded click on it downloads team windows it, it should have run I clicked on run okay Right there installing Microsoft Teams we can get our screen back sign in with this I don't remember if that email address is a valid one but If it takes the password gold a 
that's been got into my portal. I don't like long videos and you know, you really need time to watch them. So after going through those videos in the help and training section, I'm gonna make shorter videos uh, because team just came out and it's very important. It's already very important. So portal, not in teams, admins, I wanna see. So our calendar is right there, 7th, Tuesday. So you can add event from the admin uh, that's the admin thing so they can add their things from their users active users in i do i have a yes i have a imran but he's not licensed for probably that's why it's taking time i'm gonna um, oh it's there it just took a little bit get started so this is the team's app can I resize it? Yes. Sorry for the wait. So it's again the same things that we went through. So it's saying that you can get the mobile app as well okay so you see you get all the messages here even though I sign up with a new account since I'm an admin so I can watch all the journal join the team so with the compliance since compliance thing is running so you see all the conversation and communication they are being saved that's uh, <laughs> I did not know that happens as well so it's extremely powerful everything is same exactly the structure like the web app web app is the identical copy of the desktop client so I'm not gonna go like very deep into it just the um, snapshot of the screen you see everything is exactly the same except this new chart button I believe yes oh it's right there so everything is identical let's wrap this video if this video has helped you in any way please rate comment share subscribe and you have a good night good day it's 339